So we're going to look at two different statements. First, if f of x is odd, is f prime of x even? And second, if f prime of x is even, is f of x odd? So we see that the second statement is the converse of the first statement. But let's look at this first one to start off with. If f of x is odd, what that means is f of negative x equals negative f of x. This is the definition of an odd function. So if we want to see whether f prime of x is even, let's see what happens if we take the derivative on both sides. So if we differentiate f of negative x, by the chain rule, first we'll have f prime of negative x, but then the derivative of the inside, the derivative of negative x will be negative 1. So we just multiply by a negative 1 out here. And then we look at the other side, negative 1 is just a constant, and then the derivative of f is f prime. So what we see is we have a negative on both sides. We can divide that out. And we get f prime of negative x equals f prime of x. And in fact, this is the definition of an even function. An even function has the same value at positive and negative x's, which means that our derivative f prime of x is indeed even in all cases where f of x is odd. Now let's take a look at the second statement. If we know that f prime of negative x is f prime of x, so f prime of x is even, what does that say about f of x? Well, in order to do that, we're going to have to go backwards with an integral. So let's try taking the integral here on both sides, our indefinite integral with respect to x. If we look at this first one, we're going to have to do a substitution. So we can do u equals negative x, and then du is negative dx. So dx, if we multiply by negative 1, is then negative du. That means our integral over here becomes f prime of u, and then dx becomes negative du. So we can put the du here, take the negative out front, and then we have the integral of f prime of x is nicely f of x plus c. And then if we look at this integral over here, the integral of f prime of u du, that's going to be f of u, and then u is negative x. And we have our negative out front. We could add c on this side, but because we already added c on the other side, it's not necessary because those two constants are going to end up sort of absorbing each other or canceling out. So we have this final statement. Negative f of negative x equals f of x plus c. Let's do one final modification to this, which is just going to be to multiply by negative 1 on both sides. What that'll do, a constant will stay a constant even if it's negative. But this will become negative f of x. This is f of negative x. So f of negative x equals negative f of x plus c. So is f of x odd? Well, in some cases it is. Anytime c is 0, we're going to have f of negative x equals negative f of x, which is our definition of an odd function. However, if we have c being anything other than 0, for example, if c was 1, then f of negative x is going to be negative f of x plus 1, which means these two are not equal and the function is not odd. So what we have is that if a function is odd, its derivative is even. But if its derivative is even, it is not necessarily odd, because when we take the integral, we always have to add a constant. 